Facebook and YouTube. I just want to do a quick uh, video. And um, the reason why I want to do it is just for you watchers, those who are watching. Jesus promised a special reward for those who are watching for his coming. Not that you would get it right, uh, but that you are watching. The ding distinguish between Harold Camping and watchers is that, first of all, Harold Camping said that God told him. Also, um, well, Harold Camping had a unique <laughs> and very, for us, skeptical way of coming up with his formula. Now, a lot of the watchers that I perceive are using uh, Leviticus chapter 23, which is legit. It's the feast. God said that these are my feast. Um, also, we're, we're, a lot of us are using the signs. So we're not in the wrong for using these signs. I don't see anybody way far-fetched or way off. Um, I wanted to read something that had nothing to do with what I just said. <laughs> and that's found in... Actually, it does. It's found in Luke 21, verse 19. And, in, and it's in the same chapter where the Bible actually said that there will be signs in the sun, moon, and the stars. But in this particular um, uh, chapter and verse, it's saying, In your patience, possess ye your souls. Um, we have to be patient, folks. Um, so if we tell a family member and it doesn't work the way we think it's going to work, Bible prophecy may not work the way a lot of us think it's going to work. Um, the Bible says that we see through a glass very dimly. Uh, so the signs and uh, we're right to look for, like earthquakes and pestilence and famines and, you know, mark of the beast. But we need to be careful that we be responsible um, with those signs. We need to be good stewards with the warnings that God has given us. We need not to be uh, making up things that are not there because I I, I can't find common element uh, other than um, like in Luke 21. Now, I'm not saying common element is not real. It, this thing can show up during Rosh Hashanah, which I, I believe something's going to show up if this is the year. Something's going to show up during Rosh Hashanah, which uh, will articulate that this is the time that we are living in and buckle your seatbelts. But if it is not the time and it goes on for another year, possess ye your souls. Don't say because I put myself on the line and get mad at God. And I've done that recently. I mean, I, but let's not get mad at God. Let's just sit back, breathe, and say we got it wrong. Or we got we dove in with the crowd. Because the crowd is even in the Christian circles will not be right. Even as watchers, the, the majority of us together may not be right. Or the majority of us will may be right, but the timing's off. So when we see these things happen, now there are signs that, like I just read off, of earthquakes, wars, and rumors of wars, the nation should rise against nation. And then there are other signs that are not somewhat biblical, but there are coincidences that coincide with the signs that the Bible gave. For instance, President Obama being um, in Denver at a specific time, we know that supposedly Comet Ellen or Dorstar Ellen could be out there or or, 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 or uh, Asteroid. Now, let me tell you what I believe that uh, was going on now. I believe that we need to sit back and watch. Let me repeat that. I believe we need to sit back and watch. We need to take what we know and report it to our family, friends, and, and YouTubers and Facebookers or whatever. We need to take what we see and warn. 
use what we got and warn. Use what the Bible has given us and warn. Do not go past what the Bible has given us. Because tell you the truth, common element is something that the Bible never said would be there. And, and, and it, it gave the signs in uh, Luke 21. But it didn't say there should be a giant planet outside, you know, when you walk out the door and it'd be three days of darkness and this is what it means as a thief in the night. Well, it could be. I'm not saying I, I got interested in it and I'm still interested in it. But here's the, here's, here's the deal, folks. I'm going to be back with another video in a few minutes and I'm going to articulate some things that um, I, I, I think we need to know. Um, and, 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 and don't, don't hold your head down low. Don't give up yet. We still got time for things to happen. And if it doesn't, God is coming back soon and he is coming to get his church. And three years go by a lot fast. A year goes fast and certainly three days go fast. And I know y'all just heard that bang because I just popped my my table. <laughs> but uh, so I'll be back in a few minutes with it, and I want to go over lots and Noah.